What is going on my locotes? It is your Vato Spike and I am back here as a brand new video. Today's video is going to be top 5 scary ghost videos to creep you out. Hopefully we get creeped out because we always do by news top 5. But anyways you guys, thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you show me on all my videos. It helps me out so much. I just love going to my YouTube channel, checking out, and then just seeing that you guys are updating with me. Fuck, can't you fucking see that I'm trying to make a fucking video? But anyways you guys, thank you guys so much for all your love and support. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and that sub button. It really helps the channel. It really helps the channel helps me grow on this YouTube road so that one day I can have a plaque up there that you guys help me get. But anyways, you guys, you guys already know how it is. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Ooh. Nah, I'm just playing. Opening a doorway. Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film claim that a real estate agent reached out to them concerning a house that he found extremely difficult to sell. I'm not going to lie. Um, I, lo I love it when this when um nukes top five puts these videos in here like the um the asian the asian youtubers for some reason their content is very very good they don't lack bro they don't the agent says that the house once belonged to a family of three who mysteriously went missing in 2013 leaving behind all of their personal belongings in the house the current owner is desperate to sell he believes that there's a dark presence inside the home and wants nothing to do with it. Okay, uh, one little tip. If you're desperate to sell your pad, um, the last thing you should do is blow it up that it's haunted. <clears throat> Just a quick tip. He absolutely refuses to go inside the home or even get close to it. And all of these strange stories about the haunted house have kept buyers away as well. Tomo and Hiro say that the real estate agent and the owner reached I wonder why it keeps buyers away. How about not, not, don't post that? It's out to them to find an explanation for the creepy alleged haunting inside the family home. When the two go to investigate, the current owner warns them to keep the doors closed at all times. But he doesn't explain why. <laughs> Well, also that I thought, okay, religious, and I believe in this sort of rule. Okay, um, okay, let's be real. If you have a house, um, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't leave your doors open. So, <laughs> I don't think that has anything with my, with religion, my friend. I think um, he's just a responsible homeowner. I close all my doors, dude. I go to the bathroom, I close my door. I leave my room, I close my door. Go outside, I close my door. Heeding the creepy warning, Tomo and Hiro respect the owner's request and close each door behind them whenever they step inside a new room. The two investigators immediately get the sense that something about the house is just a bit oh, yes, off. Damn. Why? Strangely enough, Tomo and Hiro discover that many of the closet and cabinet doors are half open, contradicting the strange warning that they got to leave all the doors closed at all times. They don't think much of it and just continue their investigation. But did you see it? Nope. Tomo and Hiro are completely unaware of what they just captured on camera. But watch again. Oh. Uh Someone or something seems to be standing right behind the rack of clothes as two bare feet can be seen what? underneath. But the investigators just don't notice. 
Soon the two explorers begin to hear a strange ringing sound that they believe to be coming from the home's quote, altar room. A room that is dedicated to Buddhist prayer and sometimes houses altars meant to honor the dead. They go to investigate and things take a terrifying turn. Oh, he didn't close the door. Did he? Did I ask again, did you see it? Right after Tomo and Hiro enter the altar room and Tomo is closing the door, a pair of feet oh, can be oh. seen once again, but this time much closer. What? what makes the footage even creepier is that only- Bro, okay, okay. So the first time that he showed it, I was like, maybe it's, uh, it's maybe something that the owner put there. Uh, looks like feet, bro. But that one, yeah, you can't explain that, bro. That one you can't explain. That's crazy. But yeah, he did He did close the door. He has it on camera. That's why I was like, wait, did he close the door? Moments earlier, in the same spot, there was nothing there. Whatever is oh. in the home with the two investigators seems to be following them. And But you know what? I think he closes the door so that he doesn't get invited into the next room, maybe. Or unless this person just has a thing about door closing and he gets frustrated when people don't close the door. I don't know. You can't really tell what's with, with spirits because they all have their routines. But who, who's pretty much there to explain uh, what their habits Then were. when they turn their back, the sliding door seems to open on its own. Hiro decides to do a solo investigation in the altar room in the hopes of capturing any paranormal activity. He sets up a static camera and then just sits in the dark and waits. After 30 minutes, nothing has happened. So, Hiro gets a bit bored and decides to go check out another room. And this is when things get truly, truly bizarre. bizarre. I was about to say that the camera's not focusing. What are we gonna see here? <laughs> oh! What? <laughs> What's gonna happen? I swear my fucking hand will just shake by itself, dude. 
What? And my camera's about to die. This is a full battery. What? Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Okay, so that battery that I just... Okay, I felt like something shook my hand like like this handle. I know exactly how it feels. So when it happened, I was like, what? There's no way. And um, so I just switched to another battery that's full as fuck too. Because I just bought this one and I charged it. Because I was like, I'm going to get hella extra batteries because I want to go out and vlog. And I might need more batteries. Bro, this one didn't even last 10 minutes. And these batteries usually last up to an hour. A little bit shy of an hour, like 45 minutes to an hour. Bro. I feel like by watching these videos, I'm bringing something in my space, bro. That's crazy. It doesn't bother me, but it'd be touching me. It'd be, you know, moving stuff. I was like, what? Why did this move? And, I, and then my battery was literally dying, full charge. And then this, the other battery that I'm charging right now, literally full battery, dead. Like, I put it in, showed that the battery was dead. Oh, all right, let's, let's get back into it. Keep checking on my battery just in case. What is that? Is there something there? There's someone on the other side. Damn, I got goosebumps. So, um, that ringing was, remember when you clicked the thing and it made the ringing sound? Bro, that's what that is. That looked like some, there was somebody on the other side of that door. Hero hears a sliding door move on its own and he discovers that the door to the altar room has once again mysteriously opened on its own. What? The investigator hears the bizarre ringing sound again, and when he turns around, he sees the creepy face of something staring uh. back at him through the sliding door. Hiro gathers his courage and approaches the door. He opens it, and the face disappears into thin air. There's no one there. So did Hiro and Tomo capture paranormal evidence of a haunted home? Could it be the restless spirits of the family who mysteriously disappeared? Let me know what you think. You can watch this. I feel like the owner told them to close the door so that this shit would happen to make it more believable. To, to make it more believable, excuse me. I just burped in your guys' ear. But yeah, I think the owner um, on purpose, he said, close the doors so that when you turn around, they're open. This entire video <clears> over <throat> on the YouTube channel, Omagatoki Film. It stares back. In a tiny town on the outskirts of Wagoner County, Oklahoma, Reddit user Livid Excuse 1640 and a friend are cruising down a deserted road in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere. They approach a long abandoned house that Reddit user Livid Excuse 1640 says has always seemed a bit creepy and has been sitting deserted for many years for unknown reasons. On a whim, he takes out a battery-operated spotlight and decides to shine it right into the windows of the abandoned house. The guys spot something downright chilling. chilling. There it is. What is go, that? Go, 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 go. On camera, the friends catch a pale, creepy face that seems to appear from what? nowhere. 
peeking back at them from the darkness inside the house. Even when hit by the bright spotlight, the white face appears to have no recognizable features. That's crazy, I was about to say that, because if it was another investigator on the property, bro, he would have been uh, trying to dodge because he would think it's the cops. When they realize what they are looking at, the guys hit the wow. gas and speed away from the abandoned house. Reddit user Livid Excuse 1640 says that he's visited the house before, and it appears that whoever used to live there left in a hurry. So what do you think this is? Is it, it something like. paranormal? Is it just a strange trick of the light? Or is there something in there? Bro, that shit would not be the trick of the light. I mean, it could be a statue or something, but I don't know. You know what I mean? If I was them, I would have went back real quick and just checked like ran. Okay, there's nothing there and dipped. Let me know down below. Scary people, places, and things. Now this next video was sent in to me privately by a Nukes Top 5 viewer, but the source is unknown. All I know about the video is that a couple is out hiking through the Romanian woods when they spot something terrifying in the distance. One of the hikers pulls out a phone and starts to record. Still fucking cute. What am I looking at? What is that? Bro, oh, what is that? What? In the video, the two anonymous Romanian hikers wonder aloud whether, quote, they released it. I can only assume that they're referring to the strange pale figure in the video that looks like something right out of a nightmare. But I'm honestly not sure just what this is. Bro, they got some long, skinny legs. It's white as hell, bro. Humans don't be looking like that. Could it be something paranormal? Like, a creature? It's like literally white, like. Like not even white skin color. I'm talking like tape, like my table white. Sure. Or just a very bizarre what? looking person clad all in white. It could be a tweaker, bro. It up to you to decide. It could be a tweaker. One bizarre day in Voronezh, Russia. A don't under don't underestimate tweakers, bro. Do not. The other day I was watching, uh, a while back when I was in high school, I was watching this tweaker, um, uh, doing some weird stuff like, um by my school, and then was Julian, a little weird, it was a little weird, but you know. A grandfather and his grandchild are enjoying a day right. out walking in the fresh air. They decide to stroll Drinkers. down one particular city sidewalk, and it turns out to be one of the worst decisions of their lives. Now, in accordance with YouTube guidelines, let me point out beforehand that absolutely no one was hurt in this video. Uh, but it was cap. very close. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh! Bro! No way! Seconds away, bro. Second, look, look, they're right here. Look, I'm gonna put my mouse. It's gonna hit it directly. Oh! Bro, that would have killed his grandson the kid. escape an incredibly tragic fate by only a split second. Bro, that's rock. Ice on everything. If that would have hit him on the head, nah. Poor kid would have been a goner, bro. It would have probably hit him and then bounced to his head. Cause mmm. What? Maybe. As a large chunk of concrete comes hurtling down from a building oh. above. The two are unharmed, and so is the woman passing by. Bro, we just saw someone almost die, bro. See, like, look at that. A grandpa just enjoying the day with his grandson. Like, just, like, har looks like harmless, bro. And you never know, dude. That's why you gotta appreciate life. You never know. But what really makes this footage so terrifying... Appreciate life while you have it. ...is the fact that this was an intentional act. 
Seems Turns like out, it. A group of inebriated Russian teenagers found their way onto the roof of a tall apartment building. Motherfucker, they almost killed someone. They then deliberately threw this large block of concrete off the roof with the intention to hurt someone terribly. What? Later in the footage, these same teens can be seen admiring the shattered pieces of concrete. Despite the video evidence, these teenagers were never caught. That's not funny, bro. Right. This footage just goes to show that sometimes people are much, much scarier than anything paranormal. Frank from the YouTube channel beat, Franco. Bro, I would have beat the shit out of all of them one by one. I would have. Oh my god. TV goes on a very creepy exploration through an a abandoned kid, bro? grand hotel. You're, you're, you're gonna direct it to a kid? I would have made it my mission to find out who those fools were. Hotel in Montgomery, Alabama. Frank plans to perform a ghost hunt, but little does he know that the large building he is about to explore is now home to something much scarier than ghosts and apparitions. Bum. It turns out that a group of aggressive and dangerous homeless squatters have taken over the abandoned building. As Frank starts his ghost hunt, things soon take a very frightening turn. I gotta be careful. You always gotta be careful, my guy. Oh. I totally just heard somebody. Oh, see, I knew it. Julian, I mean, um, a bum. Um, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I've been on this diet for three days because I want to change my body, bro. I'm tired of being, you know, fat. But, um, I'm starving, bro. Just, just a little fun fact about, fun fact about me. I'm starving. <laughs> I was just playing you guys, sorry. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm just scared I would have been like, what's up? I wouldn't even heat it just watching it, bro. Wherever Frank goes, he keeps running into potentially dangerous squatters and just barely avoids confrontation. Even though he's somewhat aware of the danger, Frank still continues to explore. But he bro, with a suit he's wearing, bro, I would have got a paintball gun, a little bit of suits, and then made a whole little fun war myself. He has no idea just how close the angry squatters are watching him. I'm literally looking for other locations here that I haven't recorded just yet. But because there's so many people here, I have to be extremely careful and cautious at what I do. Because the last thing I need to do is get robbed, we see one? mobbed, or anything. But this place is huge. It's like four buildings in one. Oh. What, you see that? And bums are that weird, because bro. the last thing I need to do is get robbed, mobbed, or anything. But this place is huge. It's like four buildings in one. Look at that. One. Bums are this weird, bro. They're that weird. Frank is distracted by unexplained sounds and is talking to his camera when he passes one of the hotel room windows. Riddles. To his viewer's horror, a hooded man can be seen standing right at the window. Just staring. Horror? Bro, I would have caught his fade, bro. I would have put some gloves so that just in case he bleeds, he the, the, the blood doesn't get in my cuts when I hit his teeth. Staring at Frank as he goes by. At the time, Frank is completely unaware of the danger he's in, so he just keeps on filming and exploring, with no idea of what he just encountered right next to him. Now, obviously, this is not one of. All right, just so, just okay. So I might investigate in the future some paranormal places like that, abandoned places that are here haunted. Listen to you bums that are watching me, bro. Um, <clears throat> just know that I don't get caught lacking, my guy. I never lack. I, Never, never lacking, bro. Never. So, um, just think twice. Uh, I'm a shooter, my guy. I don't, 
I don't play that that bullshit. Of Franco that TV's nonsense. usual paranormal videos. Yeah. So Julian, when I'm when I'm when I come into your uh, haunted house, bro, just know I don't like. Act if anything, it might be even scarier. Watch this full crazy exploration over on the YouTube channel, Franco TV. Reaching out from okay, the I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I thought, if he, I thought they were gonna show a little bit more because he said he doesn't realize how much danger he's actually in. I think that bum was just chilling right there, all tweaked out with his hood. Probably didn't even know he was there. Beyond, popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long is exploring an allegedly haunted location in a small village on the outskirts of Xinyang, China. This time, Xiao Long is investigating a sprawling farm where a large extended family used to live. Locals claim that years ago, they would often hear screaming and shouting coming from the farm. They say that the head of the family, an elderly man, had a very bad temper and was often cruel to his family. One by one, his children and grandchildren moved away from him to the big city. His family never returned. Individually, the old man passed away all alone inside his farmhouse. Xiaolong is recording a live stream as he explores the farm grounds all alone. At first, he finds strange talismans on and above many of the farmhouse doors, suggesting that someone has been there to try to ward off evil spirits that might haunt the property. Oh, okay. You know what, many people, okay, I, I, don't, I don't know, many people do perform things like that. They do their own um, things from their culture um, to scare off spirits, to let them know that they shouldn't be there and that type of stuff. But for some reason, I feel like that shit doesn't work at all because no matter what, no matter what you do, they're, they're, they're still there, bro. You know, you get me? People, like um, the last video, somebody said I think they got 60 exorcisms for one woman. Bro, 60? So the power of God can't, you know, like... That's crazy. I'm pretty sure the power of God could, but uh, the people who were doing it probably weren't doing it right. Or, like, think about it. It's not directly God. It's just, you know. Your dad is here. Careful. <laughs> just close. Shoes. Looks like bums live there. Okay. Oh, and it looks like he's been there for a while. Wow, oh, spider webs all over it. Who are you asking the spirit? Maybe the scarecrows? Oh! Yo! We're getting a lot of close calls right here, bro. What's on you, man? Okay. Large wooden. I always see that. Fuck your mother. Bro, uh, for some reason, I don't think that's the correct translation. I think it's motherfucker, bro. Because, I don't know. I, I, if there's somebody who can tell me the, the right trans, um, translation, please comment down below. I would very much appreciate it if I'm right. But I think it's motherfucker. I don't think it's fuck your mother. board suddenly drops from the ceiling and barely misses Xiao Long. Now, this could just be a very strange coincidence caused by a loose board in a very decaying house. But what happens next is a lot harder to explain. I thought it was going to say truly bizarre. <laughs> Cotton threads? Oh, okay. For sewing? <laughs> What's behind you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. Yo. Uh oh. Two windows fly open and the exit door slams shut. A little freaked out now, Xiaolong runs outside to calm himself down. Eventually, he gathers his courage and heads back inside. He soon finds a room cluttered with old furniture, personal belongings, and boards from the caved in ceiling. What happens next is downright chilling. 
，这镜子也老了。我给他们，这真可以。租金的冰的面。哎呦我操你妈！这里头真有点好东西，全是这老棍儿，看着吗？我真的还笨。哦！啊！啊！啊！哟！不，它 looks like an alien. Okay, never mind. It formed into a face. It formed into a face. Did you see how visible it got? Look, look, look. It's forming. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. Look, and then you can see the, f bro. You can see the structure of the eyes and the nose. What? Look, look. It's forming. It's forming. Look, and then the nose, eyes. That's a man. Look at that. What? It's gone. Wait, wait, no, it's not gone. It's not gone. It's chilling. A terrifying pale face can be seen watching Xiao Long from the other side of a window. When he checks it out and opens oh, the window, ball. he only finds a small clay pot right oh, where the face appeared. What? What? And the pot's not even there. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. No. No. Wait. Why is this not the same shape as this? Where's this? Look. Look. Where is this? Where is this? You see that? Okay, this is kind of the same though. Skinny, skinny, big, big. Uh, but why does why does this not look the same right here? Wait, I could be tripping. No, no, no. Look. Where's this? You got me? Mm, mm. But then again, see, look. But this was absolutely not just a simple optical illusion. You can see by comparing the pot and the face in the window. You know what? I could be tripping though. I could. Mm, fuck, where's the pole? You see this? Where is that? Where is it? Fuck. I really wanted to believe this one. It's almost as if this strange face turned into a pot. Now that might make no sense, but this will not be the last time we see a creepy unexplained clay pot. So stay tuned. Shall I explain that lying. he now feels something very sinister Why in this place? Lying. A little later into the investigation, and he finds something very creepy. Uh, I could be wrong. Maybe it's just the angles, bro. Ah, oh, I really want to believe this one, bro. I really wanted to believe it. I'm over here hitting some my fucking. B. Again, we see a clay pot. Now I reached out to Xiaolong to ask him about these strange pots, especially this one sitting on top of a covered cellar door. He mm. explained to me that in China, occasionally clay pots like these are used to store the ashes of the deceased. Oh. The red cloth underneath the pot is placed there to ward off evil spirits. But that doesn't stop our boy Xiaolong. Ew. So what's under the cellar? Why is it in the middle of the room like that? If I die, bro, and uh, I get put into ash, don't put me in the middle of the room like this. I want to see inside the cellar. Mm, nah, it doesn't look the same as the other pot. The other pot was smaller. Like, it was just, you know. Might as well just break. I didn't see it move, did it? No way. Did, did this for just 
Does this fool just kick, just kick a person's ashes just like, just because it moved? Bro. You're about to get some bad luck. What's in there? Oh, imagine that's like a little torture. There's skeletons under there. Oh, someone's hiding. Look. Bottle. Plates. I want to go down there. Go down there, please. What's on you, Mom? Put the camera with the light down. Show us. Huh? Please, dude. <laughs> What town? Stuff is moving down there. The, the cup fell. The cup. Bro, the cup fell. The bottle fell. What town? It was standing up, right? I'm not tripping. Why'd you have to kick the ashes, bro? <laughs> <gasps> oh, he fell. Ah. Ah. fell. After bro. taking a well deserved break in his car, Xiaolong heads back in alone one final time, intending to destroy Hello, what he I now see. believes to be a cursed clay pot. It did not go well. I thought it was for ashes. What the hell? Oh, I guess it was empty. It was cursed and he fucking touched it. All right, bro, that fool is weak, bro. He cannot, he cannot break that clay pot, my guy. I would have destroyed that shit. Bro, he's just disturbing the peace at this point. Did you see something move? Did you see him move? What? Look, right here. Look, what is that? What was that? Was it an animal? A pair of hands seem to reach right up out of the ground. A Sir pair of hands? Why didn't it come out from here though? That's just straight dirt. Searching for something. The horrifying event is caught on live stream by Xiaolong and his online viewers. I see it. I only saw this one, but this one? Watch in terror. He finally makes a run for it and just gets out of there. So, is the abandoned no. creepy farm haunted by the malicious spirit of the old man who was left behind by his family? I wouldn't doubt Let it, me bro. know what you think. You can watch this and many more creepy videos of Xiaolong's investigations with English subtitles over on his YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiaolong. That's crazy. Disappearing man. act. I was just saying. Paranormal investigation. But first of all, you gotta think about it, bro. If you're gonna kick a cursed pot, bro, you, you pretty much, you fucked yourself, dude. I, that's the last thing I would do. Peter Alberto from the YouTube channel Alberto Del Arco travels to a long abandoned warehouse in Mexico. Locals claim to have no explanation or idea of what this location was used for or why it's abandoned. Many suspect that the structure was used for horrific illegal activities, such as hiding or disposing of the remains of the deceased. What? Some believe that this dark activity might have left the warehouse extremely haunted, and most oh, yeah, people dude. prefer to stay far away from the creepy site. Those think. who have dared to explore the creepy location claim to have witnessed shadows, heard ear-piercing screams, and some even say that they have fled from the sound of footsteps that seem to be following them, mm. getting closer and closer. Nishao Shin Manenza. Together two cameramen, Alberto Del Arco goes to investigate the alleged I'm sore, taunting. Bro. It doesn't uh, take long before the guys begin to hear. I've been going to the gym lately, and I've been hitting it hard, bro. I'm sore. Strange sounds and witness <clears throat> some very frightening activity. Está muy muy raro. Allá hay otro tambo. Hay mucha tierra. Entonces esto ha ayudado para que también muchas personas. Hijo de su madre. Well, that scared me. ¿Qué fue, güey? Vino de allá arriba, ¿no? 
Ahí hay varios. Ay, me dolió todo. Me asusté. Pudiera haber gente, ¿eh? Me asusté means um, I got scared. <laughs> I got really scared. No, that's not the right subtitle. I, uh, I got spooked, pretty much. De pronto pudiera haber personas que se I meten. Al parecer ya se han robado partes. De Apparently este some parts of this. <laughs> bro, these translations are funny because it's not on point, bro. It's just saying, um, it's, what was it? Let me see. <clears throat> Al parecer ya se han robado partes. Some parts of this place have been looted. Okay, so nah, it's robado and like stole, not not looted. Looted has there's a different word for looted in Spanish, but it said it said apparently some parts um, of this place. It didn't even say place. That's fine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not. It's not this. It's not exactly this. Been looted. No. <laughs> Think about it like talking like normal, bro. You're not. You're not gonna put all that extras in there. He just said. Um, areas of this place um, been stolen. Quemadas. A heavy gas can slams to the ground as if thrown from somewhere nearby. <coughs> but that's not the only creepy thing that happens in this clip. Did you see it? Right above Alberto's head, a dark oh. shape can be seen quickly peeking out. But when they go to check inside the room, there's no one there. Alberto and his team are completely unaware of what they've just captured. They continue their investigation of this strange warehouse, but as they explore inside, the cameraman captures something absolutely shocking. Esto me imagino que eran una especie de tinas o contenedores, ¿sabes? Y mira, ahí hay unos ductos. Pero hmm. ¿qué tenían aquí? ¿De qué era esta fábrica? Lo curioso es que ya preguntamos con los vecinos y nadie sabe exactamente. That's Qué crazy. They were probably running some like secret shit, bro. Some of these factories, bro, they be doing some underground shit. In este lugar, <clears throat> la temperatura sigue bajando, 22.2 de 22.9. Sí, baja muy rápido, baja muy drástico. Atrás de ti. ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? A ver, puede haber gente, eh. Atrás de ti. Oh shit. ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? A ver, puede haber gente, ¿eh? Hola. ¿Lo tienes con tu cámara? ¿Lo, lo tendrás con tu cámara? Hola. Pero... Eso está muy alto, ¿no? Digo, como para brincarle. Damn. Lo veo algo alto. Por ahí hay escaleras, mira. Cuidado, Tony, ten cuidado, no te vas a caer. As the camera turns down a hallway, what looks like a pale, creepy figure can be seen quickly darting out of sight. When the team hurries over to investigate, they discover just how high the area is above the ground. For something to have been peeking around that corner, it would have had to be at least seven or eight feet tall. Shit. A little later into the investigation, the, right the three friends witness something else that is truly bizarre. bizarre. There you go. No entiendo. A ver, hay alguien ahí parado, ¿no? Allá, 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 ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué fue eso? Allá, allá soy yo algo. A ver, allá. A ver, con cuidado. Con cuidado. ¿Está ahí? ¿Está ahí? ¿Hay alguien allá? Hola. Hola. Es un robot. Buenas noches. Oh, he's disappearing. He's walking away. Yo no sé ni para dónde ir. Tú ve para allá, Tony, yo creo. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Ten cuidado, Memo. ¿Ves algo, Tony? ¿Se salió? Güey, yo vi a alguien parado, güey. Vi a alguien parado ahí. Yeah, we all saw it. That's crazy. Sí. Hay algo cerca. Alberto and his team watch as someone seems to walk away from them. At first, they believe this is simply a stranger who is also exploring the factory. Mm -mm. But when they reach the area where they saw the dark figure of a man, Again, there's just no one there. Where would it go? Cut to a bit later, and one of Alberto's cameramen claims that he sees something move in the brush. No entiendo, pero pareciera que hay algo aquí. Digo, tal vez es que no sabemos qué fue esto, pero pudiera haber algún tipo de qué güey, qué 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 qué. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Dónde? Aquí. 
Pues a ver, alumbra un poquito para allá. ¡Oh! ¿What the fuck? ¿Viste algo? Cuidado, puede, puede haber muchos animales. Puede haber muchos animales. Things just get more and more absurdly Wait, bizarre you can see the hand. as a hand you seems the hand? to reach out from the darkness and grab what appears to be either oh. a cloth or an old paper. Yeah, yeah. So, did the team capture evidence of paranormal activity at the mysterious warehouse? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Um. You can watch this full video and many more creepy investigations over on the YouTube channel, Alberto Del Arco. Thanks for watching. Nah, we're good. We already got the juiciest parts. That's why Nukes Top 5. That's why you're here. Uh, but thank you guys so much. Hope you guys did enjoy that video. I did enjoy it. It was pretty cool. It was very interesting. Um, he's, he's jumping into more of the... I noticed that he's jumping more into the creature side instead of more of the paranormal. Um, maybe there's just not as much paranormal things going on as usual, but... That's, that stuff was still creepy. But anyways, you guys, hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you so much for all, all your love and support. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and that sub button. It really helps the channel, helps me grow in this YouTube world. So one day I can have a plaque somewhere that you guys help me get. Even if it's 100K, a million, 10 million, 50 million. You know the use. The use. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. Have a good rest of your day. You guys already know how it is. It's a very tough world out there. There's bad people, creatures now, and ghosts always trying to hurt you. You never know. So in that case, be... I was about to say it in English. In that case, keep through trying. I really, really hope to see you guys in the next video.